Good morning, everybody from Ho Chi Minh City. Good morning, also from our last day here in the hotel and last day of this beautiful view. But we're just gonna be moving right over to that building right there. So we better get going. Bye, apartment. <laughs> Yummy's yeah, backpack is about as big as her. <laughs> We can either hike 15 minutes with all of our bags or we can take a one dollar grab uh, so I think that's worth a dollar to us um, and there's also a couple of cafes nearby that place we have about an hour before we can check in so I think we're just gonna go hang out at a cafe until check-in time <laughs> and just like that we made it we didn't have to walk 15 minutes and possibly get our suitcases uh, wet because it had just finished raining uh, so we made it over to our new building and conveniently there is a Windmart right next to the lobby doors and if we turn over here there's a 7-Eleven right around the corner of this building um, but we still have about 45 minutes till check-in so let's go get some coffee this place is definitely going for the Starbucks aesthetic um, super nice decorated area a higher priced coffees but not ridiculously expensive um, just a little bit more than kind of like the little sidewalk cafes um, oh, and our coffee's ready we got our two coffees and we got medium white coffees which were 34,000 dong each or about a dollar and a half each Ooh, let's try it out I love the cans let's see how the coffee shop coffee is oh yeah it tastes just like the can <laughs> It tastes really nice. It has like the perfect amount of sweetness, perfect amount of cream. Yeah. Really good. Well, since we're at a cafe and we have some time, uh, we figured we might as well read while we're here. So we'll see you in a bit. Just got word the apartment is ready, so we're gonna go check it out. Got checked into the new place and it looks pretty cute. Um, but we're really hungry, have a whole lot of caffeine and not any food. So <laughs> uh, Yemi's gonna give a very quick room tour. Y'all, this place is cute. Okay, so here we've got the kitchen. I think we've got um, different like appliances and utensils that we can use. And here we got the fridge. And over here is the dining room with the laundry, um, the washer right there. And dining room, dining table, and some water, some glasses, storage space. And then here is the living room area although really it's kind of like a studio so it's like that's the dining room this is the living room but it's still in like the same space um and this couch is actually really cool it's nice and big and over here we got a cute little workspace i'm loving the aesthetic and the colors in this room and we also get a really big tv i think it's also a smart tv and we get this cute bed Although the views here are different than our last place, it's still not bad, especially if you're like here at this angle. It looks really cute. And you can also see the pool that's like right across from the other building that we're definitely going to use. Okay, so this place is really cute and I love everything, but I especially love the bathroom because look at how big this is. Very spacious. And the shower here is huge. So. So win win. The nightly rate for this Airbnb was $34. So I think that's a pretty good rate and we get a lot more than we expected. I also like the way the space is being used. It's like kind of square, but it's like nice and organized. We really like it. But let's go get some food because I'm starving. And the design of this building, like all the signage and a lot of like the little details around it look identical to our last building. Like even the elevators are almost identical. Yeah. Uh, so I think it might be the same developer, the same company that runs these two, uh, which is kind of neat. <laughs> yeah, that makes some good places. Mm -hmm. And we're really close to this building now, uh, which is the second tallest building in Vietnam. We're still in District 4, but this area looks completely different and we've never seen it. Uh, so we're going to go scope out the chai food scene. Every time that I've eaten at a place that looks like this in the US, I've had a really good meal. Uh, so apparently that just means it's authentic because that's what they look like in Asia. So I ordered Korean spicy noodles and um, 
Y'all look at this. Uh, I don't know why. Every time you get a meat food, just they just give you big, big portions. Oh, yeah, so yeah. now I'm wondering how I'm gonna finish this. Yeah. That's so big. It smells really good. And here's my crispy fried noodles with a dumpling. This looks delicious. Yummy stole my dumpling. Like, there's so much variety with Vietnamese food. I don't know why last time we would like eating the same things and no wonder we got tired. We didn't know how much like variety there is. This is amazing. Mm, what's in here? Looks like there's tofu, mushrooms, uh, pepper, and rum. This is just like a really fancy rum. It's really good. It's not, not spicy, but it's also spicy and sweet. It's really good though. I haven't had ramen like this. And um, typically when I eat Korean ramen, it's like uh, shin. shin ramen. Yeah. And uh, this is definitely better. And it's packed in with these veggies. Mm -mm -mm. I want to eat more. And I will finish it. <laughs> so mine don't look as flavorful as yummies, but they do look really really good. Um, so I, got, I call it bird's nest. I see it called bird's nest a lot in the US, but you get these fried noodles at the bottom. Um, several different types of mushrooms and then some veggies. Mm. Mm. It's really good too. I just need some spicy. Might steal some of that yummies broth. <laughs> um, but, I really, I really like this, uh, but in the U.S. it's kind of hard to find because they pretty much always put oyster sauce in it. And it's really hard to find a vegetarian one, but here in Vietnam, where there's so many vegetarian places, I'm glad I could find it. I was telling Moses that like we should just we should not talk to each other right now. Like let me enjoy this right and savor every last bit. This bowl is absolutely delicious. Probably the best ramen I've ever had. Yeah, I'm so happy I finally found some fried noodles. I used to love these as a kid, but I just can never find vegetarian ones in the U.S. This meal was on the higher end for us at 180,000 dong for both of us, but I would say it was worth every single dong. I also really like the color of the packaging for the hand towels, like this metallic blue. Uh, so I'm saving a strip of it for next time I do my nails, I can show the nail tech what I want. That meal was so good and I am stuffed. It's really good. Before we go move into our apartment, I want to take a quick peek at 7-Eleven and Winmart here and see what they have to offer. Oh good, they have the essentials here. And walking out of 7-Eleven, the rain wind is picking up, so time to head indoors for some indoor activities. Our new Winmart here has a full fresh produce section and lots of cooking ingredients. So this is much more of a supermarket than uh, the 7-Eleven is. And with our gallon of water, we are set for the day. After moving into our apartment, uh, we spent the whole afternoon gaming, which was really fun. Uh, but we decided that for dinner, we want falafel again. So we ordered from the same falafel place as the other night. I don't know why we felt so lazy and tired today. Yeah, does it feel like a Friday? <laughs> but uh, it was really nice playing our games and just kind of hanging out in our apartment. So we're going to have dinner and get to work here in a little bit. But uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.